What is up guys? Here we are. Um, kind of a little update video. As you can tell here on the top, we are level 5. So, yeah. Just barely hit level 5. Um, it was actually after our last game, which I uh, probably have posted right before this one. Um, unfortunately, level 5, we do not unlock any more summoner spells. Um, we got smite level 3, but um, we get barrier and uh, teleport at level six, so I'll probably do a video on those two when we get there, and I'll, I'll be using those in a lot of my videos because those are two really good summoner spells, especially early on. But the uh, point I wanted, to, point of me making this video is if you look up here, we have 501 IP, which means that we can buy a new champion. So coming into the store here, um, open up the store tab, go to price IP, or that way. You have all the 450 champs up here. Um, and the next champion I'm going to buy is going to be Nunu. Now, a lot of people were like, why would you buy Nunu? Why wouldn't you go for, like, a DPS champion like Master Yi or get an 80 carry like Sivir or Ash? Well, it's because it's right now I'm getting to use Ash and Garen uh, and, and Rise all for free because I'm really low level and we do not have a support. Now, a lot of people, well, the best, better of the two supports here would be Soraka because she's actually, like, a real support. And, um, think that that is, I don't really like the Soraka rework, I like the way they changed her abilities and stuff, I just don't like it as good as I used to, and it's because Soraka is kind of stuck as being a support, like you can't really take Soraka in any other lane, and um, well, Nunu can be a support, or it can go top, or it can jungle, or really do anything, so it's very versatile champion, and it's really good to have, especially early, because Nunu can do a ton of damage, or he can tank, or um, you know, he can be full support and just like be the heart of his team so he's really good champion and uh... he's the one i'm gonna buy so i'm sure i'll do a video on him soon so there we go we got our second champion new new what is up guys back for another game of league of legends um... this time we're gonna be going new new and we're gonna be in the top lane um, with the shivana who's on our team um, starting off, I'm gonna go Sapphire Crystal and uh, Health Pots. Because Nunu, Nunu uses a lot of mana, um, especially if you're like when you're spamming abilities, stuff like that. Um, I don't, I don't think for the jungle, but I don't know. I guess Shivana thinks she's jungling, even though she didn't take Smite, which is not gonna work out. So, we're in the top lane, um, starting off with his abilities, our passive is if we get 5 auto attacks, our next spell costs no mana. Um, our Q is we're going to consume a jungle monster or a minion, and it's going to heal us for a bunch of health. And then, uh, finally, um, our E, which we just used and took first, is we're going to throw an ice ball, it's going to deal 85 magic damage um... throwing those right now is kind of a waste because we're using a ton of mana and um... like minions haven't spawned yet and he's probably just gonna go back like he just did so it's kind of whatever we got Siobhan up here with us um... Zach shouldn't be too much of a problem just cause um... like he does magic damage which we're gonna counter really good because we're gonna build a spirit visage on Nunu because it's just a great item on him and it makes him heal for more when he um, uses his Q and then um, um, Zach's passive is when he dies he like bursts into these four um, like they like I don't know, little green blobs like that but it'll like have a quarter of his oh, it's like a quarter of a quarter of his max health in him which is good um, for us because they're considered monsters so they can be smited and um, we can uh, use our Q on them and basically like eat these slime blobs and if we keep walking on those he's losing um, health every time that he does that 
which is always good. It's, you know, that's the point of being in lane. Make your enemy lose health. We were able to almost pick up a kill there on him, but, you know, the game had different plans. Our blobs are only doing like not that much damage right now. Like he just burst into these pieces. So we can actually eat those with our Q. But he's gonna come back to life with like barely any health. Which is still super annoying, just cause in fact, you get to die and come back to life right away. It's kind of dumb. You go back to base and call his health back for free. So that's why people play Zack, just because... You know, you can die and come back, especially because he has teleport. He's higher level than us. So he can just go back to base and come back anytime he wants. We keep walking all over these blobs. Just because they make him, um. Like, if he walks on this blob, like, every time he casts an ability, a blob of himself comes out. Or, if he casts an ability that hits something. Like, those blobs come out, and, um. Those blobs, like, have a percentage of his maximum health in them. So, like, by stepping on those blobs, he gets his, that percentage of his maximum health back. Which is super annoying, just because he has such good sustain, like he can stay in lane forever. Oops, didn't mean to do that. The only reason I can stay in lane right now is because I don't have any mana. Is, like, I can... Um, if I'm just auto-attacking until I get to 5 stacks on my passive... Oh, what? I used my uh, cleanse too early. I was trying to cleanse the Q grab from uh, Amumu because I was super low, but it didn't work out how I wanted it to. Um, Alright, so next time we're going to get is, uh, this Ruby Crystal, give us a bunch more maximum health, take a bunch of mana pots and uh, health pots just so we don't run out of uh, mana and health like we were just now. Oh, this Mumu. Mumu is crazy. You like so much CC, which is, I don't know. It's just really annoying. That's why he's a jungler, because he can like CC his way in with that. His Q is his like little bandage toss. He's a really great champion. Wukong used to go back to bot lane. So taking all my CS. Um, he thought his clone would switch the aggro from the... I don't even have my W yet. I should get that. Um, he thought it would switch the aggro from the turret, which it doesn't. Because the only reason that...
the only reason that thing makes you invisible in the first place is because um, you're going invisible and tur turrets like have like true sight I think it's called which means they can always see you so we'll get the moon over there and we got our ult so it should be a lot less of so a problem later on Um, yeah, so, pop another mana pot, keep farming up here. One thing you can do with Zack is, like, um, you can, like, try to kill him, and then when his passive pops, you can just ult, because obviously he's not there to do damage to you or anything like that, it's really no matter how low you are. Can always um, oh no all right so we we're able to slow him enough to be able to run away right there which is good um, Zach has his passive up, I'm pretty sure. Oh wow, he lost his Apparently he loses turret aggro whenever he um comes back to life. I didn't know that. It's interesting. Anyway, yeah, they're pretty much just rolling a stop lane right now. Um not really much I can do about it. Um just gotta I guess just build tenacity, which is like reduces crowd control effects on you. An enemy has been slain. Just so. Their um, stuns and stuff aren't as long. That's really what's killing us right now. And they got a Warwick, so that's even more like tenacity and stuff. An ally has been slain. Now, Wukong's not like trying to get away very well, I guess, would be how you put that. Just because you don't like zigzag when you're running away. You want to you run in straight lines like as long as possible because... You want the enemy to zigzag because uh, obviously the straight, long, shortest distance between two points is a straight line, which makes like you get away from them. This is actually going to build health, like health and ability power items. I'm just running around like basically just nine him his health back. Wukong stole the kill on the Amumu from me, which is kind of frustrating, but, you know, that was also a waste of an ultimate. I don't know why I'd choose that. He should have used that when they were under tower instead of jumping in and stealing my kill, but people are selfish and greedy, so. That's one thing you learn playing this game is you learn to get along with people, especially when they do dumb stuff like that. Because you gotta be able to overcome stuff like that or you'll never like be successful as a team. team What's Wukong's doing? You probably could kill this Zack.
This Zach's not going back. He's just doing that, trying to bait us out. I misplayed that so bad. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Wow, I hit, the, I eat the wrong person. I could have killed a moomoo right there. I think if I had done that right. Yeah, I could have, but I eat the person with the most health on accident, which keeps them all alive. And if you're not killing people, they can still do damage to you. So, kind of a bad misplay on my part. Um. Yeah, not helping our situation at all with stuff like that. Uh, so I don't really know what to buy now. Um, hurting for gold pretty bad. Obviously, because if you're not getting kills. Oh, uh, I still don't have my W. I don't have taken it yet. But yeah, if you're not. If, peop if you're not dead, you can still do damage, so. You could have one health and still be able to pull full combos just because people aren't like focusing you. Which is basically how that fight went out. If you attack the high health people instead of the low health people, then the low health people can still do damage. Hopefully with Lissandra's help we'll be able to take this tower. So we need to badly. I think we'll be able to unless he teleports. Alright, so we level up so I can get a point in my W finally. Nunu's like kind of trying to loop around. Oh, nice Ash ult. A little late. You know, she's pretty bad on her timing. She's done that a couple times where an arrow gets there after the fight's over, but uh, that huge distraction top lane. Hopefully, Shivana can get this bot lane tower, you know, because. We haven't lost a tower yet. I mean, it looks horrible on the scoreboard. I mean, we have only have nine team kills. They have 12, but we've been pushing turrets, which is ultimately what's going to win the game for us, not kills. So. I'm not really too worried about the game yet. I mean, I think we just have to keep split pushing. I don't think we can team fight these guys. Do we do enough damage? Especially with this Zack. This Zack's gonna start doing a lot of damage. She's probably gonna build our allies and stuff next. She's gonna pretty much make it impossible for us, but. At least we, until we start doing damage. Kinda stall lane a little bit there. I don't think this is Zach's first rodeo either. Kind of like that Katarina we face. He's making really smart plays and stuff like that. Try to keep just holding lane. Sandra needs to run. Stop trying to get kills. Probably should have used that before. He ulted onto her, but I'm not playing Lissandra, so
After this wave, I'm going to go mid. Because Zach's going to push mid up on us. And losing your mid tower is pretty much the worst thing that can happen just because the mid lane is the shortest lane. Shut down. I kind of made it here in time. Yeah. Alright, so I got the kill on him. The, per the person to kill the last blob on Zach is the person that gets the kill, not the person that like makes him go into the blob. So if you ever show up late to a Zach fight, you can still get the kill. It's kind of funny. Teenage teams usually rage about that kind of sort of stuff. Just because it's pretty random. So then we should leave because we can't really fight this. So I don't have any abilities that do damage or anything like that, so. Try to keep them alive as much as possible. Just throwing slows and stuff like that. A little bit deep on that one, but you know, we can just eat our way back to full health. Not that big of a deal. Lucian's ultimate does really decent damage. I basically just kept him from. Our blood boil, we should be able to. Keep running away from this Warwick. Unless he eats. No, don't lag out now. Come on. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> I think I did it. Wow. I had like 29 health left, no lie. That's awesome. Or I actually had less than that because I've been regening since. Whew. So that's awesome. We ended up getting away from that. Just using W as movement speed boost and slowing them with our E. So that's pretty sweet. Um, finally get our Rod of Ages. We should have done this ha, huh, ages ago. Oh, well, yeah, pun intended. Um, so we're going to build another Blasting Wand, get some more AP. Couple mana pods, couple health pods. Go back out there and try to live some more. Kind of a bad fight going on right there. Ooh, a smart eat ult if he has it just because it stops everybody. An enemy has been slain. See, that's too far. He shouldn't have chased that far. Now he's going to die because... Of course, here comes a late ash arrow. And right on cue. only done that once this game. Our 
was able to get Zach. He didn't have his passive up, and he busted himself into too many blobs. It was good for us. Because we need some money. We are hurting for cash right now. Because, you know, having three kills and three assists does not give you that much money. Sandra needs to be careful. It's really easy to overextend with that ability. Um... Simone was really good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got the kill on a Mumu. I knew he was coming. I saw him a little bit later than I wanted to. Nothing I can do about that. I need to just leave. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. And me dead is not gonna help our team out anymore. Then. That, so, again, we got Siobhan on pushing top, so that's always good. Fortunately, Warwick's up there now, but I don't know. I think she'll probably die. Unless she gets away. That's good. That's also good. Um, we're going to get a Giant's Belt. Gives us 380 more health, which is super, super useful. Shivana did get the turret. I don't know if she can fight this. A Mumu to I'll go bot lane and push. Type all top. So we can kill it. we can keep them dead then that'll help us out a lot. I'm just going to ult this rave, just to push it faster, because my ult's not really on that long of a cooldown, I don't think, so. For a blood boil to our cannon minion, because our cannon minion does the most damage at all the rest of the minions that we have. This tower's already gone, so we push this up. Enemy has been Pretty much unnoticed up to this point, especially with this fight going on in mid lane. Both of our mana pods give us a wave push up. Um, as long as we keep up some of them dead. Yeah, that didn't do nearly as much damage as it needed it to do. Um, so fortunately, we died, but. It's not the end of the world, not even close. Uh, so we're only halfway to these stacks. We're still getting more health and uh, mana from our Rod of Ages. And build another one of these. So we're going to finish our Rylai's. Then we're going to go into a Haunting Guys. After we probably build some sort of defensive item. But um, having a Rylai's will help us out a lot. Excuse me. Um, 
just because it makes our slows do even more, like have even more of a slow, which helps us when getting away from stuff. They could probably kill both of those people right there. Just need to push. Just need to get the tower. Dash has a bunch of damage. They have a bunch of crit. Ash doing a good job uh, throwing those back, slowing them down a lot. There we go. Um. So Zach jumped away. Rise is building tears, so if he gets a super late game, he's gonna do a lot of damage. But I'm not really too worried about that, just because you know, I don't think one person like that is really gonna make that much of a difference. Oh no! I couldn't get the thing, I can't get my Q off. If I'd have eaten that, I'd have still been alive right now. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's your allies. Um, there's health and mana pots. Alright, so you have an ace, which means everybody on their everybody on their team is dead. And you got a turret right there. It's like I'm gonna move as a first to respawn. Yeah, so cleanse doesn't actually do doesn't do what I thought it did. Like I thought it would be able to um like I'd be able to cleanse. Like uh, Warbrick's ultimate and like stuns and stuff, but it's spell debuffs, so it's really just like only summoner spells. Which I find a little bit odd. Alright, here's our ultimate. This is a huge wave of minions. Plus, it gives us a bunch of gold and a bunch of experience, which is all super helpful. This or two to give us more maximum health. All right, so we're going back mid. Um, try to defend this tower. If we can get another bunch of kills off, like we did last time and we'll be able to hopefully push and win the game. We'll see. Just push and wave. I'm trying to get back up in their base. We gotta get their inhibitor again. Shut 
hopefully I get this on this MMO. There you go. Um, yeah. I'm kind of just doing that to get assists. Like, if I know I'm going to die to someone, you might as well do as much damage as you can to them before you die, right? Especially if you have teammates there to pick up the kill for you. Um, I'm gonna go in, I wanted to go into a haunting, guys. But... This hashtag revolver make me a lot more survive. Like, I have a lot more survivability. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go in the hex tech. And then I'm gonna buy another one of these for my will of the ancients. An ally has been slain. Um, Three eighty. Enemy double kill. Wow, we got lost a lot of people Rampage. now. Just like Wu Kong and Ash are pretty much just doing it. We can totally kill him. Ash, come back. No, we can't. <laughs> Just kidding. Warwick's overpowered. That's why he was our first champion we bought. Alright, they want to do Baron. Which I don't think we've done any of our games. Which I'm alright with that. I'll do Baron. I don't care. It's like um, a buff for your entire team that. Um, put a thing down in case. No, oh, I don't think you might just teleport on our team. Um, it's like a gold buff. It gives you a bunch of attack damage and ability power and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, we need to kill this Warwick first though. So, it's on got the kill on that just now. So, we're coming over here to Baron Pit. Um, I'll tank it just because. Give Ash my, um, my W. We're not having too much of a problem with this right now. There, we all got Baron buffs. Baron buff is giving us a bunch of attack damage, ability power, and like regenerations for everything. It's all super good stuff to have. But you only get if you're alive, so it's not always a good idea to do Baron, especially if like your entire team's dead. Like if you want a two-man Baron, well then like a bunch of your team doesn't even get the buff from it. So, so hopefully here we can just push up and win. Um, pretty close to winning anyway. We got this. Gonna... And we won! Yay! So, it's the first game with Nunu. Um, pull out a victory there. Kind of a come from, come from behind a little bit. You know, we were losing pretty bad at the start, but. Yeah, so you guys have it. It's kind of a little bit about how Nunu works. Um, obviously, you could have a better game than that with them, but... Anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like and a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.